This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with a target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please. Make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. But, but uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. I'll wait for you here. this where'd you find that da, 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 never mind i don't want to know let's go babe is already expecting us up there can't wait to meet him this guy's with me hey man yeah, i love what you do i don't understand it but it's so, great this deal is closed when we enter the room all right, all right. i get you in that's all your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Stop. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Moreno's, it, it was stupid. I thought 
thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid. The Merino cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Jesus, skinhead mechanic? I'm... That is Mark Faber, possibly oh, the most you. elusive man in the history of the ICA. I'm Mark Faber. Let's imagine an invisible barrier between me and you that extends out to about an arm's length from me. Let's try and keep out of that zone. My personal space, understand? <laughs> Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh! Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be uh, consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right, well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh, you've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary, I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You, suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Final bit? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guy's working on. You carry on. Well done, he's done. Yeah, what are you doing? 